A new tourism board has been installed in Brightston on the Isle of Wight to promote walking and cycling in the area. A fairly normal news item, you may think, but a somewhat quirky musical performance has been held to promote the tourism board. You really have to see it to believe it. Our reporter Dale McEwen has visited the Three Bishops pub in Brightston to find out more. It's the grand unveiling of a tourism board to welcome walkers and cyclists to the west of the Isle of Wight. What kind of celebration would befit such an occasion in Brystone? Perhaps a ceremonial walk or maybe even a ribbon cutting? It's the Bloodstone Border Morris dancers, of course. Well, it's good exercise, um, it's a good social scene, and uh, we go out to various festivals and, uh, and camping trips. We've got our own rally, which is uh, fantastic. And, and frankly, we've got some of the best friends anyone could ask for, just in a big family, basically. Um, well, I saw them on Brent the, the Seafront, and I just loved it, and I thought, this is what I've got to do it. Bloodstone Border Morris started in 2009 and has been roaring and growling ever since. Some would say they're worthy of the Eurovision Song Contest. We got our name from Bloodstone Copse up on Ashy Down where battle took place between the Saxons and the Danes and the water that springs from Bloodstone Copse runs Bloodstone Red. We're a Border Morris dance side and we do in the style of Border Morris dancing which comes from Shropshire and Herefordshire. And what can you tell me about the outfits? You know, they're quite, quite quirky. But Ah, the outfits, yes. Um, it was something I, I come up with, having something different from most Morris dancers, where most border dancers um, dance with tatters, um, ragged jackets. And I thought, just to be different, we could all have something different. And everybody, each and every one of us have our own individual, but with the splash of red, which comes from the bloodstone. The group's on official business, of course launching the tourism board at the Three Bishops pub. The outdoor trails will lead people along the coastline to Freshwater Bay and the Tennyson Mile. It's very much based on um, couples who are fairly active, so the walking and cycling are very important to us, but in Freshwater Bay we also have the, the sea kayaking, the stand-up paddle boarding, the uh, coast steering and surfing, so we're becoming a centre really for that sort of activity. Uh, we tend to be self-catering rather than bed and breakfast and hotels, and we tend to be couples without children. So it's the under 35s who haven't started a family yet, and then the over 55s. The next tourism boards will launch in Shale Fleet, Chale Green and Chale. And look out for another Bloodstone Border Morris rendition then. But for those who are desperate to become a Bloodstone member, listen up. We do ask, if people are interested in coming to join us, we ask them to follow us around, basically stalk us all through the summer. And then if there are any spaces left in the, uh, in the winter for winter practice, then you would be invited in if, um, if there's space. Dale McEwen, Solent News Now.